Hi everyone. So this past week we have looked at three specific strategies for raising funds for nonprofit organizations. Grants, plan giving, and capital campaigns. Typically these three strategies are used for larger type amounts. Capital campaigns of course are usually associated with building. And in colleges and universities Institutions use capital campaigns to add a wing to a medical unit, to add another unit of the hospital. Maybe it's to raise funds for a remodel or something large like that. Capital campaigns, of course, take a lot of planning and a lot of execution, and so there's a lot of complexities in that. The other two, plan giving as well as grants, similarly take a lot of process. You could think of grants as a contractual obligation between the funder and the nonprofit organization. What stipulations are there in a grant? A grant essentially dictates the wishes and desires of the donor to the nonprofit organization. And grants, like capital campaigns, are very complex. They take a lot of time and take a lot of energy. Where you see a lot of grant uh, requests happening, are at the government level. One of the very famous grants in educational circles is a thing called the Pell Grant. Now the Pell Grant is a federal uh, set of monies designed to help students go to college. The expectation or contractual obligation is that students who receive the grant go to college and finish. Plan giving similarly takes technical expertise you'll see a lot of plan giving in terms of donors and lawyers working together. Plan giving, again, typically at universities, has a whole legal arm. And how do you handle bequests? How do you handle large estate gifts? How do you handle the transfer of wealth from one to another? That's essentially the, the plan giving dynamic. All three of these are much different forms than we've talked about earlier such as special events, direct appeal, or even some of the social fundraising aspects we've talked about. All three require professional expertise, they're time intensive, and they take a lot of resource. So consider that when going into one of these three strategies. I've enjoyed our discussion so far in looking at different examples of these things in action. And remember, at the end of this week, you'll turn in your second assignment which is the fund analysis um, paper. Essentially, you're looking at two to four different solicitation requests of nonprofit organizations. I want you to analyze what worked, what didn't work, what were some of the strategies used, was it effective? If you were the head of the nonprofit organization, what things would you do to make the appeal more appealing? Well, that's all for now, and once again, please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions or concerns. I'll look forward to reading your paper at the end of the week when you submit it, and obviously continue the discussion online. It's been a great week so far, and I'll see you online.